Hello, my name is Seth. Thanks for watching my videos on YouTube at How I Think. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an HP DL380 Gen 8 server. We're going to add some RAM to it, the hard drives, and then use the new built-in provisioning utility, which replaces the Smart Start CD. So this is the unboxing. I have the server right here. We're going to go ahead and unbox it. So this is the server. These are the racks. The railings for the racks. By the way, these are the DL160 G8 server. Oh, servers. Let's see. Okay. Cables. Okay, this is the front of it. Looks like an empty slot for a CD-ROM. We can probably place one in. VGA ports built into the front. There's no hard drives. So bay one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm, okay. Comes with four nick and processor one, processor two, memory dims, and six fans, and two power supplies. Power button, USB, UID, and that's it. Let me have a little tag here that shows you the serial number. So this is how it looks like from the front. This is the back. Okay. Two power supplies, four USB slots. Another VGA connection, integrated lights out connection. Ah, interesting. Serial connection and the four interface cards, Ethernet cards, and some expansion base. It's not a bad server. This is a DO380 G8. So let's go ahead and open this. basic info. So let's see. We have a we have our six fans here. We have an empty slot for the um, CD ROM as I mentioned. Um, the back plane. Two processors, processor one, processor two. And then the memory. And then here we have what's this? SAS port two. Interesting. Okay. So th this is a SAS port connection, which get routed back here. And 
this is a HP Ethernet 1 gigabit 4 port adapter. Interesting. So this gives us the four Ethernet ports. A riser, PCI riser card. Power supplies. Okay, so found out that this backplane is also the integrated P420i controller, which is cool. That's why I couldn't find it. The auto models, it's over there. In any case, I went ahead and installed the memory. As you can see, the memory is installed all the way. The way this works is you have two processors, four channels per processor. So we have channel one, channel two, three, four, and then one, two, three, and four. So I have 128 gigs of RAM installed. So let's go ahead and uh, get to the next phase. Okay, so I've installed my hard drives. I got two 300 gig um, SAS 15K hard drives for my OS drive and six 600 gig for my RAID 5 um, data drive. So, what I'm going to do is use one, two, three, four, five as my RAID 5 and use six as a hot spare. Pretty cool. These are 10K, 600 gig hard drives, and the rest are the OS is 15K. Pretty cool. All right, so in this next section, we're going to be going to uh, installing the operating system and configuring the RAID array. This is probably similar to my other video on the DL180 or the 160 Gen 8 server. Very similar. As you remember from there, the uh, HP no longer requires the use of Smart Start CD, which is awesome because all the all of these new Gen 8 servers they come with built-in provisioning utility which replaces the smart start and so when you boot up you hit F10 and you get into the provisioning utility which you see here so we're going to be configuring the RAID array and the uh, operating system so this is a DL380P Gen 8 server it already picked up my Ethernet card that I have plugged in and everything else is default. We're going to click on accept EULA. We're going to go ahead and hit continue. Okay, here we're going to leave the active uh, provisioning. We're going to hit continue. Alright, so this is if we had our own Insight Management uh, support server or subscribe to the HP's uh, Insight Management monitoring. Uh, this is what we'll, these are the settings we'll choose, but we have neither. So we're going to go ahead and click on Register Later, and we'll hit Continue. Alright, so at this point we have two options, configure and install and perform maintenance. So we're going to click on perform maintenance. And here, if you remember from my previous video, this is how the new provisioning yeah, utility looks like. You can go in and erase the RAID array and the disks. You can go ahead and collect logs to send to HP, configure the RAID array, uh, run some diagnostics, create packages uh, to be installed on your machines and do firmware updates. I'm not going to do a firmware update only because it takes forever uh, but it's very simple. You click on this, it goes out, takes a while, tells you everything that needs to be updated. If there anything is available from uh, on the HP's website, it'll download it and install it for you. It's pretty cool. Uh, what we're interested in is the HP Smart Storage. We'll go ahead and click on that because we need to set up our RAID controller. 
and the DL380P comes with the 420 um, P420i controller which is pretty cool as you saw earlier I showed you in the video so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and we're gonna click on configure and if you see it shows it shows up as six unassigned drives but yet one array so the RAID controller is smart enough to recognize the first two drives the first two slots one and two if the similar hard drives are in it it's going to automatically create a RAID 1 or mirroring for us and we can verify that by clicking on arrays and if you notice I had three two three hundred gig hard drives well there you go it automatically created the um, array for us so say say that it wasn't there and you have to do it from scratch so what I'll do is um, I'll go in here and delete this one and then we'll do it ourselves so I'm going to click here I'm going to say delete array say yes delete and it's going to go ahead and delete the array for us and now if you notice we have eight unassigned drives so I'm going to click on unassigned and I'm going to choose this one and this one the first two hard drives okay we're going to click on create array and it wants to know what we want to create by default it chooses RAID 1 which is perfect we're going to leave the default setting of 256 for stripe size we're going to leave this as is everything else as is we're going to create logical drive good so now we have a logical drive created so we're going to click on finish and now if you notice we have a RAID 1 two 300 gig hard drives already created so now let's go back to the rest of them unassigned drives so we have the rest of these unassigned drives well what do you want to do well I want to use one two three four five as my stripe and you, I want to use more, uh, the other one as uh, my hot spare okay so what we'll do is we'll take select all four plus bay four so one two three four five hard drives I'm going to click on create array And here we have um, three options, RAID 0, 5, and 6. Well, RAID 5 is stripe set with parity, and RAID 6 is stripe set with parity, but it's using two stripe sets of parity. So, meaning instead of it writing across um, all the hard drives, it's going to use two stripe sets to write across all the hard drives. And consequently, it needs two um, hard drives. For RAID 5, minimum is 3 hard drives, Well, for RAID 6, minimum is 4 hard drives. Um, the, only, the only downside to RAID 6 is, is the write performance is, is somewhat slow uh, because I'm going to have uh, quite a few SQL servers on here. Typically, traditionally, RAID, I should go with RAID 1, uh, RAID 1 which is mirroring uh, for all the hard drives because I'm going to have SQL server. Um, data on here but because this is a test server and it's only going to be used temporarily then I'm going to blow away the whole server uh, I'm going to go ahead and go with RAID 5 instead of RAID 6 so we're going to click on RAID 5 and automatically it's going to adjust and use the proper stripe sets remember RAID 5 it uses one set of parity instead of two like RAID 6 we're going to click on create the logical drive it's going to go through and set up and there we go. So we have 2.18 terabytes available now. It's using these three hard drives plus one S uh, stripe set. So I click on finish. Now we have that one hard drive available. We're going to use this as hot spare. Okay, so in order to set up this one as a hot spare, uh, we're going to go back to our array. I'm going to click on my the new array that we just created array B and here we're going to go ahead and click on manage spare drives and we have two options dedicate spare drive or auto replace we want dedicated so we're going to click on this click on save and as you can see we have a spare drive which is dedicated so in case one drive fails this will kick in we're going to click on finish 
And if you look at it, this one down here is the spare. All right, so we have no unassigned drives and all of our array arrays are created. So we're good to go. Okay. View all messages. Okay. So we're all set to go. So I'm going to go ahead and click on exit, click OK. So now I'm going to click on home, click on configure and install. And this is similar to uh, my other video. Here we're going to go ahead and install the operating system. I already have a USB CD-ROM drive plugged in. We're going to make sure that we do not choose update. We're going to skip updates because it's going to take forever. We have the RAID controller and we're going to click on continue. Obviously we're going to use Microsoft because this is a server 2008 R2. Leave the defaults, recommended, and disk. By the way, if you had Linux or anything else, you can do a drop down and choose that. We're going to hit continue. It's going to try to search for the media. Okay, so he knows it's a Windows Server 2008. It's a standard R2. From a drop down, we can choose other OS's as well. So, um, what we're going to do here is we're going to choose Server 2008 R2 Enterprise Edition. There we go. Microsoft Windows Server 2008 R2 Enterprise Edition. Okay, I'm going to leave the passwords blank. Continue. Okay, so um, it's going to use this. Uh, it's going to use the partition one automatically, which was a 300 gig mirror uh, drives. Everything else is default, and we're going to hit next. And that's it. It's going to go ahead and start in, uh, installing the operating system. Hit accept. Okay, so that's it. That's in a nutshell how to install so a brand new HP DL 380P Generation 8 using the provisioning utility, which replaced Smart Start. We configured the RAID controller using the new utility, and also uh, installed the operating system. And that is it. Thanks for watching.